Hi everyone, Cuddy Bake Digital here, and today we made a quick video on image management with the Cuddy Link system. We get asked about viewing images and do we have an app program, so today we will show you how to view the images with the computer and also a cell phone. We have found that Gmail is a great tool when using the Cuddy Link system. We recommend using the Gmail inbox and Google Drive for image management. Gmail is a free email service deployed by Google and gives you the first 15 gigabytes of storage free. CuddyLink images are estimated to use about 50 kilobytes of data. That means you can store 300,000 CuddyLink images with 15 gigabytes of storage. We want to note that CuddyBack is not affiliated with Gmail. We recommend you use a dedicated email address for CuddyLink images. This will separate your CuddyBack images from your normal emails. If you need help setting up a Gmail account, we have put a link below in the description that walks you through the initial setup. Getting started, we want you to log into your Cuddyback Cell account. You will need to enter your email and then your password. At the home page, it will show you the devices you have activated on your account. Click on View Details and then look for Relay Email Addresses. This is the dedicated emails the cell camera will send the images to. Click on Edit and here you can add more email addresses to receive images. You can have up to 10 emails or phone numbers to have the cutting link images sent to. Once you are finished, click on Save Device. So now we are going to show you the Gmail program. As you can see, we have cutting link emails and also cutting link reports that have been sent to our dedicated email. To view an email, left click once to open. The email will open up and you can see thumbnail images. If you want to view an image in full size, left click on the image. You can cycle through the images by using the left and right arrow keys. If there is an image that you like and want to keep for image management, click on add to my drive icon. This image is then saved to Google Drive. To exit out of the full size image, click on the arrow at the top left. This brings you back to the original email. Click on inbox and you are back to the beginning. If we bring up Google Drive, you can see on the home screen I have previously saved images I wanted to keep. What is nice with Google Drive is you can create folders for your properties and also create subfolders inside of these main folders. To open a folder, you need to double click on it. Once we are inside this main folder, you can see I have images that I moved into it. And I also have subfolders that I have created for specific locations. You are also able to rename photos and share photos. To rename a photo, left click once to select the photo. Right click and select rename. To share an image, left click once to select the photo. Right click and select share. You would then enter the email addresses you want the images shared with. When you are finished, click done. To get back to the home screen, you will want to click on My Drive that's located at the top left. You are now back at the home screen for Google Drive. Now that we are done with Gmail and Google Drive, we are going to show you how this looks on a cell phone and you will notice the process looks very similar. First, you will need to download the Gmail app and also the Google Drive app. Here we are going to click on our App Store icon and then we are going to have to search for the Gmail app. Since I have already previously downloaded the Gmail app, it will show us open. So now we will want to go ahead and search for Google Drive. And this will be the same process. I already have it downloaded, so it will show us open. Now we will close that app and we will open up our Gmail app. When you get into the Gmail app, you will see we have cutting link emails and also reports. Click on a cutting link email and the thumbnails will appear. To view the images, you can just slide through each thumbnail image. And if there is an image that you see that you want to look at, click on it to make it a full screen image. The process is the same if you want to save an image. Select the Google Drive icon to save. Close the app and open the Google Drive app. Under My Drive, you can see the folders that are created as well as images that haven't been moved to folders yet. 
to view a folder, select it. If you want to move images into a specific folder, select the image. Click on the three dot icon and select move. You will now need to select the destination you want it to send to. Select my drive, select the folder you'd want to put the image into, select the folder again, and then you would click move here at the bottom right. The image has been moved to North Plot. That wraps up our overview with Gmail and Google Drive. If you have any questions or need additional help, you can contact our customer support at 920-347-3810. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't, please subscribe to our channel to see more helpful tips and tricks. Thank you.